but I let you do it. The goal is to slowly heat the entire flange by constantly moving the flame and never leaving the flame in one spot too long. If you do, it can burn right through the copper. Work your way slowly around the flange. So how hot does that get, you know? Pretty hot. <laughs> Keep the flame moving. And I see even heat all the way around. With this much metal, it can take about 10 minutes to bring the flange up to the proper temperature to melt the solder. If you look carefully, you can see a ring of solder forming around the joint. But don't stop now. You need to thoroughly heat the entire flange. Remember to let the hot metal melt the solder and not the flame. The hot metal will act as a wick that will draw the solder to the hottest parts. Add solder slowly and it will flow to where the metal is hottest. You will know when to stop when you can see a clean line of molten solder all the way around the joint between the flange and the copper pipe. To cool and clean the transmission line, slowly dip it into a bath of five gallons of water mixed with one quart of mercuric acid. Be careful not to breathe the fumes. The mercuric acid